thing is that I want to show you what we are actually building. So this is it. So I'm running this for my local, my the previous project local um, server. As you can see, running on um, port 8000 on local host. So this is what we are building. So let's see what we need so we can see how we can construct our API properly. So this this here fetches all the posts that we have, okay? Regardless of the category, so it fetches all the posts. And when the, all the posts fetches, we get the category details from the post. So that means we need to add a category details on our post here so that we can get to know what category the post belongs to here. So if you look at if you look at our post uh, model, this is our post model, right? So this is our post model. So you can see that we should have a category ID. We added a category ID here, but then we didn't add it in the migration. So if we go to post, so this is post. So we don't have a category ID here, so we can now add a category ID because now we need a category. So uh, let me just type it. So we have a category ID here, so we can now save it. So now we have to migrate. Okay, we have to migrate for this. We have to do a migrate refresh for this for this actually to show up in our tables. So we'll do that later on. So we we'll come to our post model. So now we have a category model, and our categories with uh, our post model is related to the category. It has it belongs to a category. That means every post should have to belong to one category, all right? So to add that, we we'll go to our uh, our controller, our post controller, and then we tell you that anytime you fetch all the posts, we need to add the the category to it, all right? So anytime you fetch all the posts, we need to add a category. So you can just do with here. And now we look at the, the name of, so what you put here is the name of the relationship. So if you go back to your post model, um, the name of the relationship is category. All right. So it's linked to category. So anytime you fetch the post, we need details of the category is connected to. Do you understand? So anytime we fetch, uh, anytime you fetch a post, anytime you fetch all the posts, we need details of the category it's related to. So when we do this now, we can just uh, do uh, a get. All right. So with this now, anytime we fetch all the categories, we're going to get. Anytime we fetch all the posts, we are going to get the category details embedded in it. So because categories are related to uh, what do we call it? Categories are related to uh, and posts are related to categories. Sorry, so now we can save it. So now we have that this part now achieved. So anytime we fetch a post, we should get a category ID. So we can test it out. So since we've done changes to our migration, we need to do a. Since we've done changes to this, we need to do um. A migration refresh okay so uh, so we do php artisan migrate refresh so everything is now refreshed so if everything is refreshed everything is going to be zero so we go to our postman uh, I'm doing some graphical stuff here so um, so we go to uh, so first of all I'm going to shut down the other project then we're going to do php artisan self so we are, now we are running our, our project right so we go back to dev stress here and is it this kind of okay there is it okay there is it so in here so now we've we've we've, my, we've cleaned everything in our table. Our table is now empty. So if you open, a, let me show you. So if you have a PHP MySQL, you can open it and check. So uh, I think it's this. I know. I think this is this is the the previous project I had. I think it's this. So we have no users, we have no post, 
we have no comments we have no categories everything is empty right so we are going to create new posts and everything so since we have that already in um already here so let's let's first of all create a new user so we go here i thought this already done for us so well, let's add a post first because that's the most important so we have post let's just say let me copy one of these application will allow it because I've, I've, I've stopped the server it's not it's not working anymore so cool but let's just create a post ourselves so let's say authentication level let's just put something blah 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 you know this is, this is not this is not what I was I don't think this is what I was doing okay so this is it I think this is it so we go to it's the same thing we go to the same browser we go to API we go to post and we are adding a new post okay so the post title the post app content the content the user id the user who is posting the post so this is going to always be you since you are the only one so now we're going to add a category id so what category does it belongs to so let me close this for now so before that let's so let's create a category okay so we're going to add a category so we go to the same API, the same local host address, API slash categories, and we go to post. So we are adding a new category. All right. So the name of the category should be, uh, let's say, love. And, and we say, love or post description or something. And then we send so now we've created a new category called laravel all right so anytime we fetch all the categories oh, all the categories we have one category called laravel which is one okay so we're going to add this to a new post that we are going to create so we go to add a post so the request is post and the api slash post and we're going to add a post so we go to form data body form data you add a title subcontent blah 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 user id is one so we need to create a user right so we go here we add a user let's add a user so the name is charles number is this and it's an editor so let's say i'm an editor so let's let's see what what let's see what's in the user thing uh, user controller to create a user name email and password that's what is required so we have a password of six zeros so i think that this should be okay so this is a user so user is we have our first user one so now we can go to add a post and we can say id one and then the category id is also one and we go to all categories id is one so we go to add a post so the category id is also one so what else do we need from categories so we go to the migration we need the views the views can be empty the share and then the image so we don't need that okay so for the views we can say it has zero views for now all right so and then the share we can just leave it like that so let's let's save a new post so you have a new post so now we go to fetch our post fetch our post so now we can see here that it gives us all the post all right and then it gives us a category included so in here we on our front end we can now we can now show the name of the category this post belongs to so if we come here to our post controller all right and then we if we take off this if we take off this and let's say if we go back to the how it was first say post all and then we save when we come back to the post you're only going to get a post you're not going to get a category though we have the category id we can use the id to tell what post it is right so we need the information so 
You can come back in here. And then we have we have it, we have the category inside. So good. So now we're done with this. So on our next in our next um thing, we're gonna look at how we can fetch the category with so if I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna run the other server. And then I can now so so now when we fetch all the all the post we have the category information now which is now here and when you fetch all the posts you have the category information which is here so what we what we'll do in our next um video is that now when we click on a specific category we should get all the posts so when we go to our categories i mean we can just do it now when we go to our category controller when we fetch a single um a single category we want to get the post that is related to that category I right, want to get all the posts associated with it so with this let's see the category migration and let's see so this is a category so this we don't, we don't even have to add a category ID because a category has many posts so we can't say post ID is equal to one two three you understand it has many posts so it will just to just look at the post and then fetch the ID from the post. So just look at the post and then whatever category is here, just associate that with this category. So when I fetch Laravel, it should give me everywhere that this ID is in any post, it's going to give me that post. All right, so that's basically what it does. So we need this, um, we need this feature. So when we click on the right native category, it gives us all the posts that are reality, that has a reality ID inside, all right? So, how we're gonna do this is that we go to uh is it category so we go to the category and then when we fetch a single category we need the information of a uh, uh of the post okay so we go to the category model so we can see it has many posts so this is what we need we need this posts thing and then when we go back to the category controller when we fetch a single cat uh, a single controller we can say with post okay so like give me all the category with post when the user fetches with with the id and then we can just say find or fill something 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 and then we are done all right so this this now will give us all the category with their post so now we are going to try it so when we go to all the categories now we fetch all the categories so i'm running the previous project so we're gonna i'm gonna close it here and then let's run our current one all right so now when we fetch categories we're going to get just the level one we created so now let's fetch a single category and let's see that we are going to get the post from this when we fetch a single category that is id of one and we fetch so now we get the post that has this category so let's let's add another uh let's add another post to this category okay so we go to post add a post and the category is still one and then let's say the same content it doesn't matter and then we add it so now we come to we fetch the same category with one. We're going to get two posts now. We have post one, post two. So now, this feature now is now solved. Okay, so that is it. So I, I think okay. So our next thing. Let me just add this. So let me run back the server, and then I can stop this. Let me show you the last feature we need to add. So when we fetch a single post. This thing is still waiting. So let me just go back. When we fetch a single post, we have comments, right? So when we go to our post controller, when we fetch a single post, this is our post. Okay, this is our post controller. So when you show a single post with an ID, we need to fetch a comment. Okay, so we can even add, we can even, if that's, yeah, let's say we, we fetch all our comments we need you want to show the comments data here maybe you need to show 
this post has 50 comments this is 40 views this post has 50 comments it, it, that means we need a comment data associated with all the posts that means when you fetch all the posts here we don't only need the category but we also need the comments so we can add it here but that will we'll decide that's when we start building the front end right so now when we show a single um a single post we need to get the comments data from it so we can see all the comments are here and we can add a comment right here right so we need to show the comments in a single post so that's where we can do the same like like we did for the category controller where we added uh, with so with a single post we look at the post the post is related to what comments right so we look at the post controller the post model and we can see it has many comments so that's what we need so we can say when somebody fetches a single post show me the single post with its comments all right and you just do final fill blah 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 so we save it so now when the user fetches a single post you're going to get the comments all right so if there are no comments i think let me let me find a post with no comments so if there are no comments, it's just no, it's just going to tell you no comments, and you can now post the comments like that. All right. So that is that is. I think we've done everything. We've done all the associated models and controller and everything. So in our next one, we we'll just we we'll just go straight to the front end and start building. So now I can say we are done with we are done with building the back end. So maybe I'll add authentication so that. Um, not anybody will be sending requests and be creating stuff. You know, I'll just add an authentication. So the authenticating that only authenticated users will be able to maybe um, do some specific things like create a post, uh, delete a post. You know, those things will be done by only authenticated users. So normal users will be able to fetch all the posts. Like they can fetch, you can fetch all the posts. You can select a single post. Normal users can add a comment. They can't delete the comments or anything only authenticated users can do that so we are going to look at that and in our next video we are going to build this front and actually we're going to start building this so yeah